to everybody's surprise, we got another new One Piece game and it will be releasing today. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, there is a lot of high quality things in this game, but at the same time, there's a lot of things I don't like. So I want to go over everything in this game and overall give you guys like the answer if it's worth playing for you. So I'm going to play the trailer right now. And if you guys could actually see in the trailer, the VFX are obviously very high quality. The animations and everything of that nature look very good. So if we're just looking at a game in terms of pure graphics, this game really does have it. And honestly, I really wish I could say the same for the rest of the game, but we'll actually look at it and I'll tell you guys why I really don't think that. But if I had to summarize what I really don't like about this game, and it's honestly what kills the game for me in my personal opinion, is they want to be block shoots really bad. And it's really apparent through pretty much everything in this game. Now, I won't lie to you, there are some areas where they make improvements from block shoots formulas, but there's also some areas where block shoots probably has better formulas. Like for example, the bounty posters that are in the walls in a lot of One Piece games that would just be like hanging around and stuff, you can actually customize them and unlock new types of customization on your bounty poster in this game. And stuff like that is actually really cool, but they also have a lot of things that I really don't like. For example, a lot of the fruits that are literal Logias only have like three skills that actually do damage. And later in the video, I'll actually go in the game and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, but it's crazy to me that a Logia fruit literally only has three abilities in a One Piece game. Like that's damn near one of the most like powerful abilities in One Piece games for it to only have three damaging abilities is crazy. It does have a fourth one, but that fourth one is flight and I'll show you guys later. But honestly, that's really not that big of a deal for me. Like I could really look past that if I like the other aspects of the game, but the real problem in my opinion is the combat. I know some people don't care about combat as much as I personally do, but it matters a lot to me and it's very similar to Block Shoot's combat. I'll actually hop in the game and show you, but I really don't like it. But if you do like that spam based Gepo spam type combat, you probably will like this combat system. It's just not for me personally. And the last thing I want to touch up on before we actually hop in game is the whole boss fight. You've probably seen it in the trailer. There's a lot of like raid bosses. And I'll show you guys my reaction when I initially actually ran into the bosses, but I'm going to be honest, it was a little underwhelming. I was expecting a little more creativity in the boss fights. I mean, I wasn't expecting it, but I would have preferred it. Like I said earlier, a lot of the things in this game are made to be simple, and the boss fights are definitely one of them. Like it's literally just move spam simulator. And I don't hate that. That's how most boss fights are on this platform to give them credit. So I can't really hate because at the same time, there's not really that many games that have what I'm really looking for, to be fair. But I personally was just hoping for a little more uniqueness. And one thing I do like about the bosses is pretty much every boss does have boss drops. It shows the percentages with the boss drops as well. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, some of the boss drop chances are very low. You have some 1% drops, some 3% drops, but to be fair, I really don't mind that as long as the drops feel like they're worth getting. Now, are these boss drops actually worth grinding for? For me, hell no, nah, but maybe for some of you guys, you will like it because you might like the game more than I personally do. But let me show you guys what I mean. So we're actually in the game now, and like I said, there is a lot of similarities you're gonna notice to Blocks Roots. Like I said, like uh, here, you already got the pirate and marine screen off spawn. Like they could have made it wait to like actually you go in the game and can become a marine but i mean a lot of people are used to this because of block shoot so that's probably why they chose that uh, before i show the bosses and stuff real quick i do want to show you guys the weapons because i have all of them uh, they gave me all of them but if you go 4 8 12 16 20 24 weapons total and a lot of them are pretty cool like this yoru uh, like i said the visuals are pretty good mess with the visuals I don't know how you actually get Yoru. It's probably a game pass, to be honest. Oh, that's another thing I didn't even really mention. They got, like, daily rewards for fruits and stuff. There also is a fruit shop, too. Like, I'm not going to lie. I can't mess with these systems, like I said. Y'all know I don't like stuff like that. But, hey, it is what it is. Over here, you got the Bandit Circle of Death. You know what I'm saying? My personal favorite thing about One Piece games. I love when I get to beat bandits for years at a time. Oh, hell no. Nah. They find the nail. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Let's see if we get jumper real quick. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. Oh, he has Buddha. Oh, I need to turn on hockey. I forgot. What's the hockey bond? Yeah, I think it's H. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Full body hockey. I think, like, I'm not going to lie. I don't know why it's full body, but because I never even, like, tweaked the settings. It just came like that. Uh, Jewels of Light. Here's the light showcase. Now, I'm not going to lie. As you guys can see. Like I said, the boss fight's just very basic. It's literally just like jump around, spam moves, and run away. Like, there's no real like timing on the boss. I mean, obviously the boss is gonna have attacks like that, but it's really like, you're not really gonna be doing much thinking. It's just gonna be run away, spam moves. That simple. Oh, also, I do want to mention this Buddha is crazy small for a Buddha, in my opinion. Like, like he has Buddha and he's like, I mean, he's not small necessarily, but for a Buddha, come on, let's be for real. 
That was small. Oh, hell nah. We also got this boss right here. Not gonna lie, pretty much the same exact thing, like I said. I don't like boss fights in games like this, mainly because they all kind of feel the same. Like, if y'all understand what I mean by that, like, every boss is literally the same exact formula. I just spam moves and don't really have to use my brain, so it just kind of blends together in my mind. But when there's actually, like, different mechanics for different bosses, I feel like it actually makes the boss fight much more entertaining. Demon Fruit Shop. This is my favorite part about One Piece games as well. My second favorite after the Bandit Circle of Death. Uh, but like I said, they actually, or actually, I don't think I mentioned this. They do have a decent amount of fruits. This is a lot, but they don't have a lot of abilities on each one. Let me show you guys uh, what I was talking about. Sand, right, for example. Sand is like a very strong fruit in One Piece. And it only has three moves, which I'm not going to lie. It's crazy. Or it has one extra move, which is flight. But you can't even, like, do anything with this. And this is going to be a useless move because you're going to have Geppo. And Geppo is faster than that flight. So really, it only has three moves. And they don't look bad. Like, here's a railgun. It's kind of small, but, you know, it's still railgun. Uh, you have sand, desert blade, and then you have desert tornado. So, to be fair, like, the moves are not bad for what they have. But they only got three moves on a Logie, in my opinion. It's high key crazy. Okay, I'm not going to lie to y'all, though. One thing I do like is I remember looking at their flame. Their flame was one of the better looking fruits. You got Enkai. You got Fire Fist. It's kind of not that crazy. But Fire Pelly looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Fire Bullets. Fire Flight. Looks pretty good. Then we got Goro. And Goro is pretty cool, too. You got El... Or, no, that's not El Thor. That's Lightning Rain. Then you got El Thor here, which is kind of similar to, like, Fire Pillar, except you can aim it. Then you got Raigo, which is what Anel has. Uh, the boss fight has that as well. You got Lightning Bolt. And then you got TP. Buddha's kind of another example of what I mean. Like, it is very small. I was saying that earlier. But uh, this, like, three moves, really, because you one is the transformation. So, really, you only have three different moves, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's not anything you're going to want to look forward to. We found the Sea Beast. The Sea Beast does have hella drops. What the hell? I'm not going to lie. I got five drops? They have a mystery drop as well. I think, like, almost every boss has a mystery drop, so you just don't know what it is, I'm pretty sure. I hope they actually exist. Though. Yeah, I'm not killing this by myself. This is supposed to be a raid boss. Yeah, hell no, I'm dead. Don't do it. Don't shoot me, please. Wait, I don't drown with the devil fruit. I don't even take damage in the water with the devil fruit. These are the things I'm talking about that are like, I don't personally like mechanics like these, but I know they're like meant for like little kids or this is a glitch. One of the two, uh, because obviously it's not meant for people like me. Like I said, I think you guys can kind of understand what this game is about by now. It's very simple, very similar to Blocks Roots. Pretty much just a different version of Blocks Roots that has some slight changes, to be honest. But it is my job to keep you guys updated on new Roblox anime games, so I will continue to do that. If you guys want to hit the like and subscribe button, it does a lot for the algorithm and a lot for my channel. And barely any of you guys percentage-wise are subscribed, so I'd appreciate that as well. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Later.